Hello everybody and welcome back. Today is kind of a strange day because I normally don't upload twice in a day and I just press C because I'm used to it. But I'm currently playing on a completely vanilla version of Skyblock. I've got no mods, no anything. And that is because they recently made a large change to the use of modifications in Hypixel Skyblock. So in a forum post, Hypixel then said that any quality of life enhancements, while they are nice, are not like to be allowed in the future and you do have a two week grace period and the current status is no warnings and bans so far but i would still remove your mods just to be safe now dom pierso added that this will not impact some mods and add-ons that are doing things that they shouldn't be doing that's what they're supposed to impact but they won't impact like dropping expensive items and stuff so i would make sure that you reach until the end of this uh, period and make sure you're using vanilla and not using those mods. So two weeks after today, they are going to be making a blacklist of all the mods and they won't be issuing any warnings or bans before then. In these two weeks, they will be issuing kicks from the server if you are using the mods that you shouldn't be using and it will tell you like, don't use this mod and stuff. And you'll just be kicked from the server. You will not be banned yet. After the two week period, then they will start issuing in-game bans. So you should try out your favorite mods in this two-week period to try to see if they are not bannable. And if they are bannable, then you should start to panic and start to find out another way to do the same things that you were doing previously. And for this video, I'm now going to be using the no mod zoom, which is just turning my FOV all the way up to 30, which I mean, I guess it works. The specifics that they say is any mod that one display invisible entities change player movements, cancel vanilla actions like clicking on blocks or interacting with players, monsters, or NPCs, or automatically interacting with interface elements such as inventories or menus, but they add an edit to that one. This does not impact canceling of actions such as not dropping, salvaging certain items. And that is quite useful for like, oh no, I'm gonna like drop my 700 million coin item into the void because I'm used to not being able to drop it. But now apparently I can with this mob update. So thankfully, those will not be affected. Unfortunately, they didn't actually give us that much information, so I think there's just going to be like monitor the forums and monitor YouTube as to what is going to be bannable and what's not. Unfortunately, I don't think there's much any of us can do. They've they seem like they made up their mind. It's just going to suck that we're going to have to learn to live without these. And for now, I'm just going to be using like bad line or something in the future for streams just to make sure because bad lines normally been allowed and I doubt they're going to stop allowing it that way you can still use like optifine and stuff with zoom um and I assume they have the API to turn off mods on bad line so they can probably just turn that off if that's the case I'm also probably going to just like follow what some other large YouTubers are doing uh as they've got YouTube rank they probably know what's up but you know what they probably have priority over not getting banned so just a heads up to anyone watching this like short little video saying you should probably stop using whatever skyblock mod you're using and it definitely within two weeks if you want to just test it out in this two week period you won't get banned as far as i can tell from the forum post and as far as the forums are saying but i would definitely be wary of them after the two weeks are up 